to this episode of Learn Everyday English, your roadway to English proficiency. As you might have guessed, I'm not in the studio today and I'm not walking around my neighborhood. I've come to a, another city a little bit uh, outside from where I live. It's called uh, Conroe, Texas. And I came here because uh, my wife is a painter and we are a member of the Conroe Art League. So it's kind of a non-profit organization that helps to promote art in the city of Conroe. And we come here because in the city that we live in is kind of small and there is no uh, organization like that that promotes art in the city and that type of thing and that has other benefits. So we come here, it's not that far, maybe it's like a 30 minute drive and in Texas, you know, since everything is so big, yeah, driving 30 minutes is not very far to drive. And uh, reason she's wants she has a painting, an acrylic painting that she painted of uh, Big Bend. Big Bend is a state park here in Texas. It's very kind of rustic, rural, a lot of mountains, kind of desert. And she painted a picture and every month the Conroe Art League has a uh, exhibition where members can exhibit or display their artwork, their paintings. So she's going to uh, have one of her paintings of Big Bend displayed here in the, in the facility or the center where the Conroe Art League meets and has, has their meetings. And they have a storefront, we say, which is just a store where the public can access and come in. There's a gallery where the paintings or artwork is displayed or exhibited so the public can come in, look at the artwork, and you can even uh, have the artwork available for sale if you want, want to sell your artwork. They have classes too of different types of uh, like uh, painting, acrylic painting, oil painting, watercolor painting, drawing like with charcoal pencils, and that type of thing. So it's a real neat, cool organization uh, to belong to. So I'll show you her painting here. It's on the seat. And this is the painting my wife did of Big Bend. So it's pretty uh, descriptive. There's It's a desert type of area. There's a lot of what we call cactus or cacti, uh, you know, short grass and mountains of different levels. So this is what's going to be displayed in the exhibit. And I think she has a name for it, for the painting. Let me see what she called it. I have the paperwork here. Oh, the name of the painting is called Winter in Big Bend. Winter in Big Bend, acrylic on canvas. So I got to walk over to the uh, Conroe Art League uh, site and then after that I'll kind of take you around, show you a little bit about the downtown area here uh, in Conroe. But it's a pretty cool little city. It's not real big. It's bigger than the city I live in and it's growing. It's I think one of the fastest growing cities in uh, Texas and I think even in the United States. So I gotta walk across the street here. So here in Texas, US, we gotta walk across the uh, pedestrian, or we call them the crosswalks, the crosswalk. And you have to cross at the intersection. If you don't cross at the intersection, it's called jaywalking and you can get a ticket if you cross in the middle of the street. There's a lot of uh, kind of cool, neat little uh, stores, cafes, restaurants yeah, here 
here in the downtown area is pretty typical of most downtown areas in small cities. You have a courthouse, and then around the courthouse there's a square, and in the square there's a lot of different uh, businesses, places to eat. And this is the, as you can see, the gallery. It says Conroe Art League Gallery. Gallery is just a, a, a place where they can display and exhibit different types of artwork. So I need to go in here and drop off the artwork for my wife. Well, I dropped my wife's uh, painting off and I'm gonna just give you a little quick tour of the, uh, we say the town square or the town center. Usually in, in small towns in Texas, there's a town square, town plaza, or El Centro, the center, the plaza. And typically, there also is located the courthouse, or sometimes say the county courthouse. It's a courthouse for the county where the city is located, where you have to do a lot of, say, uh, governmental type paperwork. So here there's a courthouse, I'll show you that. But like I said, typically in a lot of small cities, around the courthouse there's a square and there's streets on all four sides and on the streets there's a lot of uh, businesses, antique shops maybe, places to eat, cafes, restaurants, so it's pretty cool. A lot of people come to small cities in Texas and go to the uh, center where the courthouse is and walk around and window shop, that means you just shop by looking in the window, you don't really buy anything. Or get something to eat and just experience uh, small town Texas. I'll kind of pan around and show you. So I'm going to pan around and show you uh, what it looks like kind of the uh, square around the courthouse. So as you can see there's streets and there's a lot of businesses. I'm going to walk around the square and kind of show you what types of uh, things you can see. But here is the uh, courthouse for uh, the city, is Conroe, and it says Montgomery County Courthouse. You might not can see that with all the trees, but this is typical. Here you can maybe get certain things done, permits that you need to get to construct or do things in the city. And this is a plaque telling about the city of Conroe or Conroe Fire of 1911, which is a big fire that occurred. Okay, I've walked around to the other side of the courthouse. They got some nice big. Uh, trees here. I don't know what types of trees these are, but these are pretty common here in Texas. Got a nice sitting area with benches. And this is on the other side of the uh, courthouse. I think this is the, the main entrance. But as you can see, see this is Montgomery County Courthouse. They have a nice landscaping. Here's a, uh, it's like a uh, bird sitting on top of this rock. Nice little water fountain, or waterfall we call it. Nice little waterfall. And this is the entrance to the Montgomery County Courthouse here. Have a nice, uh, say, bronze uh, statue of some children playing in a circle, walking around. The title of the artwork says "Children at Play." It was donated by a bank, Spirit of Texas Bank, for a tribute to the Montgomery County's abused and neglected children. Dedicated in April on April 25th, 2014. Across the street from the courthouse, 
is the, called the James A. Keishan Building. It's probably a uh, city building or county building where you take care of some other uh, paperwork, other things that you need to take uh, care of. Here's a sign or with the plaque information about the Montgomery County Courthouses. It says it's located in the center of downtown Conroe. So let's walk around the town square, we call it. Walk around the town square so you can see what it looks like. A lot of people come here to take care of a lot of different business. So here, as you can see across the street, there is a uh, antique business as you can see it says antiques this is very common in small town Texas in the town square there's usually uh, some antique shops we call them antique stores or antique shops I'm gonna cross the street and I'm gonna walk across what we call here the crosswalk the crosswalk you know, where the pedestrians pedestrians are just people that are walking around need to cross. Here's a business for a law office. We call it attorney at law. Attorney at law. Here's another business called the firm. It says uh, mead and craft libation. So this is a place that sells mead, which is a type of uh, alcoholic drink. So here there's another uh, attorney's office. It's very common. I guess they can do a lot of business with the county courthouse across the street. This uh, location is for lease. Here's an eatery. And it says the intersection of great taste, steak Bordeaux, casual steakhouse. So it's a place where you can get a steak dinner. So again, uh, around the courthouses in the town square, there's a lot of places to eat, typically. So it's just a good place to come on the weekend and kind of walk around. Looks like this is another law firm, the Harrison Firm. Again, there's another law firm called Brass and Dion, Attorneys and Counselors at Law. So it looks like at the towards the end of the street, it's all uh, law firms on the right hand side here. So this is a business. This is like a jewelry store, jewelry repair, watch repair. I'm gonna come around the corner here. Nice place to just sit and relax. There's a lady sitting on a bench here. This is kind of an arts and crafts store because they say they have here candle making workshops on Friday, Saturday. A place that sells things for the home. Finance place. There's a store that's called a boutique. They sell kind of clothing things for, for the house. It's a big parking lot where you can come and park and walk around. Across the street, there's uh, some more boutiques. Some more boutiques. Again, boutique is a place you can buy like, clothing items for men, women, children, gifts call them accessories. Here's a, uh, a bank. And across the street is called the Crichton Theater. They have performances here, maybe plays, shows, concerts. And my wife and I came here one time for a concert to hear the uh, called the Los Lonely Boys. So they have a lot of different activities for the community here. 
I'm going to walk down this, this other side where I showed you the, uh, where we got the concert at and some boutiques. But again, this is very typical of small town Texas. Like this is a eatery place to eat here. 202 Main, I smell the smells of barbecue, Texas barbecue. It's very common. There's some boutiques, stores, clothing, accessories, or just uh, anything that you can have in the house. Decor, just this maybe lamps, things that you can buy for the inside of your house. Another store called Main Street Merchants. This is the front of the uh, Crichton Theater where they have a lot of concerts, musical events here. I guess here are the, uh, we call it the box office or the ticket windows where you can buy your tickets at. We'll call and says where you can purchase your tickets. Looks like they're having a performance of Alice in Wonderland here. Looks like this is a place that you can see they sell beer. It's an eater, eatery, you say, a place where you can get something to eat and something to drink. Turn down the other street. And one thing cool, they have these uh, benches that are kind of uh, works of art. They're very colorful. That's a nice touch. Here's a eatery called the Red Brick Tavern. Red Brick Tavern, they have live music on a lot of nights. Breakfast served every day. Across the street here, there's a, uh, they call it a barber shop, a barber shop, where you can get your hair cut. Very typical of the uh, barber shop colors, red, white, and blue awning. The barbershop's been around for a while. It was established in 1912. Next to the barbershop, there's a place called the Dragon Bowl, which is a place, I think, where you can get uh, something to eat, like Asian-type food. Dragon Bowl. Let's walk across the street here. here, attorney at law. This is a, another gift place called Mimi's on Main. They have a lot of like furniture, tables, dishes, home decor, collectibles, antiques. Some more law offices here. They're heavy on law offices. And here there's another place to eat called Cornelis New Orleans Bakery and Cafe. I you know my wife and I ate here maybe uh, three, four months ago. We have some good food pies, pastries, cupcakes, cakes, wedding cakes. It's a small, quaint place. They also have drinks, soups, salads, 
sandwiches, coffee, latte, and finally more uh, law offices. And at the end here, it looks like they have an office space for a university called the University of St. Thomas, which is located in Houston, but looks like they have a, a brand, branch location here in Conroe. I hope you enjoyed that uh, walk around the town square here in Conroe, Texas. Again, this is very typical of uh, a lot of town squares in small cities or small towns in Texas where there's a courthouse where people can get a lot of uh, paperwork things done. And then ar around the courthouse, there's a square with uh, streets on four sides which a lot of, with a lot of businesses. Here they seem to have a lot of law offices, but they did have a lot of some places to eat and that type of thing. So if you like the videos, you know what you can do for me, three things. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and three, tell your friends about it so that they can benefit from these videos too, just like you. All right, well, I thought this would be something different. I had to come here anyway, decided, hey, why not make a video about it? show you guys something new and different about life here in Texas. So uh, I think that'll be it. I'm still gonna try to interview my wife. Uh, she can talk to you about the herbs and plants she likes to grow, her paintings, and also her experience as an educator uh, in the school system here for 30 years and her perspective on language learning. Since she is a uh, native English speaker, grew up speaking Spanish in the house, but also is learning to speak Italian. So I think she has a unique perspective she can offer. So I won't take any more of your time. I think that's it for now. Hey, uh, have a good day, week, uh, wherever you are in this blue marble we call the world. And we'll see you later on Learn Everyday English. Hey, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye.